generation of this Roos Cedar Chest Company, Cedar Chest on Stand. This piece probably dates from the 20s or 30s. The Roos Cedar Chest Company was founded in Forest Park, Illinois in 1918 and it went out of business in 1951. It was a huge manufacturer of uh, furniture at one time. It was the largest employer in that area. As a result, these were mass produced. This piece has no particular great value other than a functional value or a decorative one. I would assume uh, its current value is probably around $200. As you know, the antique market is very flat, and it's flat in this area as well. People aren't decorating um, with a lot of antiques. Particularly this dark depression era stuff just doesn't really sell very well. Uh, most people that buy this will paint it and uh, distress it or do something horrible to it. And, uh, it's, as a contemporary uh, fashion statement, it would probably sell a little bit better. This piece, piece is in reasonably good condition. I'll bring you in just a minute. We have some veneer damage to the top, as you would expect. We have burled walnut panels here that are showing some finish wear. Obviously, the legs down here have some finish wear on them as well. The escutcheon on the keyhole is broken. But if you remember from our restoration of the Victorian uh, bookcase, we had this applied piece that we removed because its accompanying piece uh, disintegrated during the stripping. And I was playing around with it, and although it's not the same pattern, I think I should be able to manufacture a piece that will fit in the bottom. So at least aesthetically, there's a full oval there. Um, and that should be kind of an interesting little fix. This piece has the burn-in mark from Roos uh, Furniture Company. It has its original label here. It has its original hinges, although this hinge here, and I'll show you when I bring you in closer, uh, has a little bit of damage to it, and one of the screws has been replaced. But all in all, it's not in bad shape for its age. It uh, needs to have the finish restored. I don't believe I'm going to do a complete strip and refinish on this. I'm going to do the veneer repairs, and I think I'm going to do some touch-ups and uh, clean it up, maybe shoot a, another top coat of, uh, of clear over it, uh, or, or just wax it. I, I'd like it to, to still look old when I'm done, but uh, I want it to look like it was well cared for and not, not beat up or neglected. So I'll bring you in and uh, show you what we're facing. And starting with the top, we have a piece of missing veneer here. This is oak. It's stained a very dark walnut color. Uh, we'll lay a new piece of veneer here. We have the obligatory finished chips that we can just touch up with some color. Another small veneer issue in this corner here. We also have color issues on the burled walnut panel. We'll touch the colors up here and then we'll shoot a new top coat on it. And just, you know, chips and dings and places where the finish is missing. You know, all things that we can take care of in a touch-up. We have uh, all the finish missing along this edge. I don't know if this was, maybe it rubbed against a wall at one point, but that's all got to be uh, replaced. Inside, we have the uh, original burn and mark. We have the original label from Roos Furniture Company. It comes with the moth-proof seal-tight lid, in case you were wondering. Here's the hinges, and they're fairly attractive. And if you wander over to the other hinge, you can see where that's bent over. And there's a screw right there in the middle that's been replaced. It doesn't match the others. It's a little bit big. It's got a tray with it. It's lined in cedar. And it actually still smells, uh, still smells pretty nice. Structurally, the uh, one issue that I did observe was we have a loose leg, and I'm actually not exactly sure which one it is now, but if we crawl underneath the cabinet, you can see, and this is kind of cool, these wing nuts here, there's two wing nuts on each leg assembly, and obviously the leg assemblies just come right off, so the chest can sit flat. So it'll be very easy to fix this loose leg, we'll just pull this whole leg assembly off, reattach it here and perhaps here if it's loose and um, we'll reinstall it. So I think what we'll do today is uh, get the leg glued up or repaired. I, I honestly don't even know what's the matter with it. And once we have that done, I think we'll call it for the day. It's already fairly late in the afternoon and we'll get on to the veneer repairs tomorrow and the touch-ups thereafter.
and a little bit of an update on the uh, escutcheon project. The uh, original escutcheon was extremely fragile. Uh, I believe it may have actually been pressed out of sawwood and glue, I, or sawdust and glue, I, I'm not sure. But as I tried to cut it on the scroll saw, it just started to come apart on me. And I've got one, two, three, four, five separate pieces right now. So I'm going to have to uh, cry uncle on trying to resolve this issue with the original escutcheon. I took the escutcheon that we had left from the Victorian bookcase that I was actually going to try to lay in. And using the drill press, I drilled in a keyhole. And then I just very quickly applied some medium brown or dark brown walnut dye stain to see how that would look. And I think it's going to be fine. We have this little area right here that's missing. I can fill that in with the walnut colored epoxy and then I can uh, mold in those lines by hand. So I think this is going to solve the problem for us. You know, obviously I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here to get this so it's, there's no shadow line here. And I'll just sand that and then I will uh, restain it. But I think that this is going to, uh, to give us a little bit of a decorative um, accent and cover that keyhole properly. So I think this is going to be the solution for us.
outside with the lights a little bit better. Well, this is what we've got so far. And again, the early morning light is not, uh, is not the best. So frankly, I think it's time for, uh, to rub it out with some wax. It'll tone it down. It'll even up the, the sheen. I don't really want to put any more shellac on it. I think we got plenty. So we'll bring it inside and we'll start to rub it down. <laughs> <laughs> 